Hello everybody! In today's video, we're going to actually learn how to put a image gallery inside your article. So let's say you have a list of images there that is actually better browsed through uh, in one list, then it's going to be the plugin that you are looking for in this video. Let's go and learn how to do it in WordPress. Here you see a blog article and if I scroll down the blog article, uh, you will be able to see a list of images here lined up very nicely. When I mouse over, it will actually have some description uh, for each and every single image here. So when I click on the image, okay, this is what we call a light box gallery image. So what you can do or what a person can do is basically to scroll through different different images okay, as they see fit. All right, so uh, when you mouse over uh, the eye icon, okay, you can actually see a description on top as well. All right, so uh, this is basically what we're going to learn how to do in this video. All right, the plugin for today is basically Photo Gallery. All right, so I'll just type in Photo Gallery. Okay, and we'll just look up uh, this one here. Okay. Now, if you see Photo Gallery by 10 Web Mobile Friendly Image Gallery, this is the one that we actually need, right? So you just take a look and make sure it's from the Photo Gallery team, okay? Okay, now once it's installed and activated, uh, you would probably see something at the side here that says Photo Gallery. All right, so that's where we should go to next. So let's just click into Photo Gallery and take a look what is inside here. So at the moment, you don't have any image galleries in your website. So we're going to actually create a new one. So let's just click on Add New Gallery. Okay, so after clicking on Add New Gallery, all right, basically it will ask you for a title. I'm just going to call it Robots uh, because it's just a list of images of robots. All right, and what I'm going to do next is just click on Add Images. All right, Add Images. So of course, I actually have a list of images that I have saved on my computer. So I can basically click on Upload Files. All right, and Select Files. And I'll just go into my folder. All right. Uh, All right, so this is all my images. I'm just going to select all of them one shot. Okay, one shot, select all of them and just click on open. All right, so it will actually upload everything for you. All right, and after a while, okay, you will see it appear inside the list of images. All right, so just click on add selected images to gallery. All right, now you will see everything is listed down here for you nicely. All right, and what you can do is for each images, okay, you can basically uh, put in a proper uh, label or a description for each of them. So I'm just going to do one time uh, to uh, label them correctly. So of course, uh, this alternate title basically means it's a uh, normally uh, something that describes your images and it's very, very useful for search engine optimization purposes. All right, now we are done with all our labeling for the alternate tags and I'm just going to scroll through my images and take a look at one particular one that doesn't look like it's centralized. I want to actually edit this image. So you can basically click on crop thumbnail, just click on crop thumbnail and you can basically, uh, you know, just crop the image into a size that you will find that it's more suitable, all right, as a thumbnail. So I'm just going to make it make sure it's centralized with the extra space removed and I just click on crop. All right. Okay, I can just close this and it will look just nice in my image gallery. Okay, so once you're done with this, okay, just click on publish. Okay, you have to publish your gallery before we can use it in our article. So just click on publish. 
all right and after a while okay basically uh, you can use this gallery in your articles so next we're going to go into our posts all right so just go into post all posts and i'm going to look up that particular article that i used uh, so it's a uh, okay places to learn how to build a website all right so i'm just going to click on edit all right and as usual i have my articles etc uh, etc et okay and i'm going to actually move uh, put the uh, photo gallery at the bottom of this article so you can basically click on uh, a space empty space just make sure there's empty space in between all right and you will see a new button here called add photo gallery okay so just click on add photo gallery and it will come up with this option all right so basically it will default as the thumbnail option there are other styles here that is available in the free version of this plugin so if you actually want something more fancier then you might want to pay for the newer uh, templates but all in all if it's just a simple light box it's fine all right okay uh, select the gallery that you want to display all right and after that uh, you can basically choose a theme for your gallery so it's basically white color background or black color background so i'm going to actually select a darker theme all right uh, basically it's a little bit more how I say user friendly, uh, it's not too bright on the eyes as well. All right. So once you're done with this, just insert into post. All right. And you will see an icon here. All right. Now you can click on the icon and change it, uh, change uh, some settings later if you want to. All right. But I guess right now it's not too bad. So I'm just going to click on update. Okay. Now, after I click on update, I'm just going to click on preview changes and take a look how it looks like right now. So I have my article and I scroll down here. There you go. The list of images that I have. And when I click on the image, okay, uh, you will basically see a light box version of the image. Okay. So that's how you basically put a light box gallery in your website. Hi everyone, thanks for watching the video and uh, don't forget to click on subscribe and uh, click on the bell, okay, uh, so to keep uh, informed of new upcoming videos on the channel. Until then, see you in the next video.